born in 1949, the actress Veronica Cartwright began her career in the entertainment industry at a young age. She started acting in the 1950s, appearing in numerous television shows and films. Her natural talent and hard work quickly gained her recognition in the industry. The actress's breakout role came in the 1970s when she starred in the horror film Alien. Her chilling performance as Lambert, the chief warrant officer, left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. The actress received critical acclaim for her portrayal and solidified her status as a talented actress. Throughout her career, the actress has appeared in a variety of film and television productions, showcasing her versatility and range as an actress. She has played diverse roles, from comedic to dramatic, and has worked with some of the most respected directors and actors in the industry. In addition to her work in film and television, the actress has also made appearances on the stage. She has starred in several theater productions, further demonstrating her talent and dedication to her craft. The actress's contributions to the entertainment industry have not gone unnoticed. She has received numerous award nominations and wins throughout her career, including a Primetime Emmy Award and a Saturn Award. Despite her many accomplishments, the actress remains humble and dedicated to her craft. She continues to work in the industry, inspiring and entertaining audiences with her talent and passion for acting. Veronica Cartwright is a talented actress who has been working in the film industry for several decades. She has appeared in many memorable films and TV shows, including The Birds, Alien, and The Witches of Eastwick. Her career has spanned over 60 years, and she continues to inspire and impact people today. Do you have a personal story about how actress Veronica Cartwright has impacted your life? We would love to hear it in the comments below. One of the actress's most iconic roles was in the 1979 film Alien, where she played the character of Lambert. This role is often considered to have defined her career, but we want to hear from you. Which of her many legendary works do you believe defined her career? Perhaps you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star. We would love to hear about it in the comments below. Throughout her career, the actress has had many funny, shocking, and sad moments. In this video, we will be sharing some of those stories with you. So, keep watching to learn more about this legendary actress. Born in Bristol, England in 1949, the actress moved to the United States with her family at a young age. Her older sister, Angela Cartwright, was also an actress, which exposed her to the craft early on. The sisters even appeared together in the classic film The Children's Hour in 1961. Growing up in a show business family, the actress was no stranger to the world of film and television. Her mother, who had been a stage actress in England, encouraged her to pursue acting. The actress began her career in commercials and guest appearances on television shows before landing her first major film role in The Children's Hour. The actress's early exposure to acting, particularly through her sister and mother, played a significant role in her path. She was inspired by the strong female figures in her family and the opportunities available to her in the entertainment industry. As she continued to work in film and television, the actress encountered several key influences and mentors. One of her earliest mentors was actor and director Vincent Price, who she worked with on the show The Twilight Zone. Price encouraged her to take risks and explore different aspects of her craft. Another significant influence was director Alfred Hitchcock, who she worked with on the film The Birds. Hitchcock's meticulous attention to detail and commitment to storytelling left a lasting impact on the actress and her approach to acting. Throughout her career, the actress has continued to be inspired by her peers and the opportunities available to her in the industry. She has worked with a diverse range of actors and directors, each bringing their own unique perspective and approach to the craft. Veronica Cartwright, a talented actress, has left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. Born in 1949, she began her career as a child actor, appearing in several popular films and shows. Cartwright's breakout role came in 1963 when she starred alongside her sister in the film The Children's Hour. Her performance was highly praised, and it opened the door for more opportunities in the industry. Throughout her career, Cartwright has demonstrated her versatility as an actress, taking on a wide range of roles in both film and television. 
She has appeared in numerous horror and science fiction films, including Invasion of the Body Snatchers and Alien. Her performances in these films have earned her a reputation as a talented actress in the genre. In addition to her work in film, Cartwright has also had a successful career in television. She has appeared in several popular shows, including The X-Files and Earth. Her ability to portray complex and nuanced characters has made her a favorite among audiences and critics alike. Despite her many accomplishments, Cartwright remains humble and dedicated to her craft. She continues to act in both film and television, and she shows no signs of slowing down. Her impact on the industry is undeniable, and she will no doubt continue to inspire and entertain audiences for years to come. Ever since the actress was a young girl, she was drawn to the world of entertainment. At the age of 11, she made her film debut in the Children's Hour alongside Audrey Hepburn and Shirley MacLaine. This experience ignited a spark within her and solidified her passion for acting. The actress's early years were filled with opportunities to work alongside renowned actors and directors. However, it was her role as Jellicoe in The Witches of Eastwick that truly showcased her talent and versatility. Despite being the youngest actress in the cast, she held her own against seasoned veterans like Jack Nicholson, Cher, and Susan Sarandon. The actress's career has been marked by her ability to seamlessly transition between film and television. From her iconic role as Lambert in Alien to her memorable performance in The X-Files, she has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Despite her many accomplishments, the actress remains humble and dedicated to her craft. She continues to take on challenging roles and inspire aspiring actors with her enduring passion and talent. In the film Alien, the actress who played Lambert originally auditioned for the role of Ripley. The producers, however, had other plans and cast Sigourney Weaver as Ripley while the actress took on the role of Lambert. In an interesting turn of events, the character of Lambert was initially written as a wise-cracking character which had attracted the actress to the role. However, in later rewrites, the role became much more subdued and serious. During the filming of the awakening from hypersleep scene, the actress and Sigourney Weaver had to wear white surgical tape over their nipples. This was done to ensure that the film would not offend certain countries. In addition, there was a different version of Ash explaining to the remaining crew what his mission was. According to the actress, Ash originally asked them if they had tried to communicate with the Xenomorph yet. There was also dialogue about the alien being an experiment of some kind. These details, while minor, add depth to the character and the film as a whole. The acting journey for the actress, Veronica Cartwright, was not without its challenges. Financial struggles were a constant hurdle for her family. Despite these hardships, her mother, a former actress, encouraged her and her sister to pursue their dreams in the entertainment industry. As a young actress, the industry was skeptical of her abilities due to her age and the presence of her sister in the same field. However, she remained undeterred and continued to hone her craft. She found creative solutions to overcome these obstacles, such as taking on roles in various school plays and local theater productions. One of the earliest challenges she faced was during the filming of the Children's Hour in 1961. At the age of 14, she was cast alongside established actresses Audrey Hepburn and Shirley MacLaine. Despite the pressure, she held her own and delivered a memorable performance. Another hurdle came when she was labeled as a scream queen after her roles in horror films like Invasion of the Body Snatchers and Alien. However, she refused to be typecast and actively sought out diverse roles in both film and television. Throughout her career, the actress has shown remarkable resilience and determination. She has tackled financial struggles, industry skepticism, and typecasting with grace and perseverance. Her story is a testament to the power of hard work, creativity, and a never-give-up attitude. In the children's hour, the actress portraying Rosalie Wells, Veronica Cartwright, had an unusual audition experience. Director William Wyler fired a gun during her tryout, and she maintained her composure, which helped her secure the part. Interestingly, co-star Shirley MacLaine, known for her colorful language, became a mentor to Cartwright on set. Despite being told to avoid McLean due to her frequent cursing, the children, including Cartwright, found her cool and very generous, and they all enjoyed spending time with her. 
Later, in The Birds, the actress played Kathy Brenner in a film often cited as one of the scariest of all time. In a fun twist, she appeared in Scary Movie 2 as a mother in the prologue, where she spoofed The Exorcist, another movie considered among the most terrifying ever made. This role showcased her versatility and willingness to poke fun at her own image, endearing her to fans even more. In 1963, the actress's career took a significant turn with her role in The Children's Hour. Co-star Audrey Hepburn praised her performance, stating, Veronica brought such authenticity to her character. This breakthrough role led to more opportunities, including a notable appearance in The Birds by Alfred Hitchcock. The 70s proved to be a fruitful period for the actress. She starred in the groundbreaking film Alien, which garnered critical acclaim. Her portrayal of Lambert was hailed as powerful and unforgettable by critics. The film's director, Ridley Scott, commended her ability to convey fear and determination simultaneously. In the early 90s, the actress delivered a memorable performance in The Witches of Eastwick, earning praise from her co-stars and critics alike. Her depiction of a vengeful witch was described as chilling and captivating. More recently, the actress has been recognized for her work in television. She received an Emmy nomination for her role in The Wizard of Lies, where she played the mother of Bernie Madoff. Co-star Robert De Niro praised her performance, stating, She brought so much depth and emotion to her character. Throughout her career, the actress has consistently delivered compelling performances, leaving a lasting impact on the film and television industry. In the early stages of their careers, several actors, including Robert Redford, Veronica Cartwright, Robert Duvall, Jean Marsh, and Leonard Nimoy, found recognition in a popular show. Among them, Cartwright's career was particularly noteworthy. As a child, Cartwright had acted in the film The Birds, where she shared the screen with Doodles Weaver, who happened to be Sigourney Weaver's uncle. This early role marked the beginning of her journey in the film industry. Later, Cartwright took on the role of Betty Grissom in the film The Right Stuff, delivering a powerful performance. It's worth noting that her sister, Angela, played Penny Robinson in the 1960s TV show Lost in Space highlighting the acting talent that ran in their family. Cartwright's career continued to flourish, and she became known for her role as Lambert in the film Alien. Her portrayal of the character left a lasting impression on audiences, showcasing her versatility and talent as an actress. Despite the challenges she faced in the industry, Cartwright continued to make her mark, appearing in various films and TV shows that left a significant impact on viewers. The actress Veronica Cartwright has built a successful career in the film industry with over six decades of experience. Known for her versatile roles, she first appeared on screen as a child in the 1950s and has since then graced both television and film with her powerful performances. Growing up in a family of actors, Cartwright's passion for the arts was nurtured from a young age. She often accompanied her older sister, Angela Cartwright, to auditions and sets, which sparked her interest in acting. Her early exposure to the industry allowed her to develop a unique artistic vision and process. Cartwright's approach to her work is rooted in her ability to fully embody her characters. She once said in an interview, I like to find the truth in the character to make them real and relatable. This commitment to authenticity is reflected in her diverse range of roles, from the innocent daughter in the children's hour to the terrified passenger in Alien. One of the defining aspects of Cartwright's style is her willingness to take on challenging and unconventional roles. She has played a wide range of characters, from vulnerable victims to cunning villains, always bringing a unique perspective to each performance. Cartwright's personal experiences and worldview are also reflected in her work. Having grown up in the spotlight, she has a deep understanding of the pressures and challenges that come with fame. This insight has informed her portrayal of complex and nuanced characters, adding depth and authenticity to her performances. In addition to her acting career, Cartwright is also an advocate for mental health awareness. She has been open about her own struggles with anxiety and depression and has used her platform to raise awareness and reduce stigma around mental health. In conclusion, Veronica Cartwright's artistic vision and process are characterized by her commitment to authenticity her willingness to take on challenging roles, and her ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters. Her personal experiences and worldview have also informed her work, 
adding a unique perspective to her performances. Through her advocacy and activism, she continues to make a positive impact both on and off the screen. In April 1962, the actress celebrated her 13th birthday during the filming of Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, where she played the role of Kathy Brenner. A few years later, she gained further recognition for her performance as Joan Lambert in Ridley Scott's horror classic Alien, for which she received the 1980 Saturn Award for Best Supporting Actress. Some viewers found the age difference between Kathy and her on-screen brother, Mitch, unrealistic. However, this scenario is entirely plausible considering their mother, played by Jessica Tandy, would have been 20 when she had Rod Taylor, and 39 when she gave birth to the actress, resulting in a 19-year gap. This age difference is not unusual, as women can have children from their early teens to mid-40s, making it possible for full biological siblings to be over 30 years apart. Veronica Cartwright's impact and influence on the film and television industry are significant. With a career spanning over six decades, the actress has left an indelible mark on the entertainment world. Known for her versatility, she has played a wide range of roles, from innocent children to formidable villains. In the early years of her career, Cartwright gained recognition for her role in the classic film The Children's Hour. Her portrayal of a mischievous student added depth and complexity to the storyline, showcasing her talent at a young age. Later, in the 1970s, the actress took on more mature roles in iconic films such as Invasion of the Body Snatchers and Alien. Her performances in these films were praised for their intensity and emotional depth, setting a new standard for actresses in the horror and science fiction genres. Industry experts and fellow actors alike have spoken highly of Cartwright's contributions to the industry. Sigourney Weaver, who starred alongside Cartwright in Alien, noted that the actress brought a sense of reality and humanity to her role, making her performance all the more memorable. Cartwright's influence extends beyond her on-screen performances. She has been a trailblazer for women in the industry, advocating for equal pay and opportunities for women in film and television. Moreover, the actress has inspired a new generation of actors and filmmakers. As one up-and-coming actress put it, seeing Veronica Cartwright's range and versatility as an actress has been incredibly inspiring. She's shown that it's possible to have a long and successful career in this industry, even when playing complex and challenging roles. In recent years, Cartwright has continued to take on diverse and interesting roles, further solidifying her status as a respected and beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Her contributions to the industry and her impact on audiences and fellow actors alike will no doubt be felt for years to come. After portraying Gemma Maboon and Daniel Boone, the actress left the series due to disagreements over her character's development. Producers wanted Gemma to explore romantic relationships, which made Patricia Blair feel uncomfortable. As a result, Blair threatened to depart if the actress wasn't let go. In The Birds, the actress played Kathy Brenner, Mitch's younger sister. Interestingly, Richard Deacon, who played Mitch's neighbor, also starred in Leave It to Beaver as Fred Rutherford. Deacon's daughter on the show, Violet Rutherford, was played by none other than the actress herself. During the filming of The Witches of Eastwick, a life-size animatronic puppet was created to resemble the actress for the cherry pit vomiting scene. The puppet gained significant attention on set due to its realistic movements and massive vomit production. However, test audiences found the sequence too repulsive, leading to the removal of most shots involving the puppet from the final film. The actress Veronica Cartwright has had a diverse and successful career in the film industry, but her life and values extend beyond the silver screen. She is known for her love of animals and has been involved in various philanthropic efforts related to animal welfare. In fact, she has worked closely with organizations such as the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals and the Wildlife Way Station. Growing up, the actress had a deep connection with animals and spent much of her childhood surrounded by pets. This early exposure to animals sparked a lifelong passion for their well-being and she has used her platform to raise awareness for various animal-related causes. In addition to her work with animal welfare organizations, the actress is also an advocate for environmental conservation. She believes that it is crucial to protect and preserve the natural world for future generations, 
and she has been involved in various environmental campaigns and initiatives. The actress's personal values and interests have undoubtedly influenced her work in the film industry. She has often chosen roles in projects that align with her beliefs, such as films that highlight the importance of environmental conservation or the need to protect endangered species. In her personal life, the actress is known for her down-to-earth personality and her dedication to her craft. She is deeply committed to her family and friends and values the importance of maintaining strong relationships. Overall, Veronica Cartwright is not only a talented actress, but also a compassionate and dedicated individual who uses her platform to make a positive impact on the world. Her love of animals and commitment to environmental conservation are just a few examples of how her personal values and interests inform her work and her life. In the 1979 film Alien, the actress took on the role of Lambert, the chief warrant officer. There were discussions about including a gay relationship between Ripley and Lambert, which never materialized. Interestingly, both the actress and Tom Skerritt, who played Dallas, jokingly suggest that Lambert and Dallas were having an affair, which explains why she doesn't want to abandon Chip until after he's dead. The actress also played Felicia Alden in the 1987 film The Witches of Eastwick. A few years later, in 2009, there was a television movie spin-off of the film called Eastwick. The only returning cast member from the original film was the actress, reprising her role as Felicia Alden. In the 1963 film The Birds, the actress played Kathy Brenner, the younger sister of Rod Taylor's character, Mitch Brenner. Despite the fact that Rod Taylor was 19 years older than the actress, they were cast as siblings in the film. This age difference, while unusual, did not detract from their on-screen chemistry or the overall success of the film. Veronica Cartwright's legacy in the industry is marked by her unforgettable performances in both film and television. With a career spanning over six decades, she has left an indelible impression on audiences and peers alike. The actress has shown her versatility in a variety of genres, from science fiction classics like Invasion of the Body Snatchers, an alien to dramas such as The Witches of Eastwick and The Children's Hour. In her earlier years, Cartwright began her career as a child actress, working alongside legends like Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepburn in The Children's Hour. This early exposure to the industry's elite undoubtedly shaped her understanding of the craft and fueled her passion for acting. Throughout her career, Cartwright has consistently delivered compelling and memorable performances earning her a loyal fan base and the respect of her peers. Her ability to seamlessly transition between various roles and genres is a testament to her talent and adaptability as an actress. As for her future contributions, Cartwright shows no signs of slowing down. She continues to work in the industry, taking on new and exciting projects that challenge her as an artist. Her dedication to her craft and her willingness to explore new roles ensure that she will remain a vital force in the industry for years to come. For aspiring professionals in the field, Cartwright offers the following advice, always be true to yourself and never give up. The road may be long and challenging, but if you have a passion for acting, it will shine through in your performances. She also emphasizes the importance of continuous learning and growth, encouraging aspiring actors to study the craft, watch other actors, and never stop learning. In conclusion, Veronica Cartwright's legacy in the industry is one of versatility, dedication, and excellence. Her advice for aspiring professionals is a testament to her enduring passion for acting and her commitment to the craft. As a fan, you might have noticed the actress's impressive range in various films and shows. From her early role in the children's hour to her chilling performance in Alien, she has captivated audiences for decades. Her work in The Witches of Eastwick and the birds left a mark in the world of cinema, showcasing her ability to portray complex characters with ease. The actress's career is a testament to her talent and dedication, having worked with renowned directors such as Alfred Hitchcock and Ridley Scott. In addition to her film work, the actress has also made her mark on television. From her role as a series regular on The Wide Country to her memorable guest appearances on ER and The X-Files, she has proven her versatility as a performer. As we celebrate the actress's work and legacy, we would love to hear your thoughts. What are some of your favorite performances? How has her work impacted you? Share your memories and reflections in the comments below. 
And if you enjoy this content, please like and share it with others who might appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment.